and hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm today with a brand new video for Tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity and how to record multiple people or voices or multiple hosts for your podcast, how to edit that together, and how to mix that together very easily. Now, there is a way to do this uh, through stereo mix recording. However, I found that if you were to record your voice along with uh, stereo mix, on a multi-channel recording software, then the quality of stereo mix tends to be a bit bad. You are decreasing the quality. So you can record the other person through stereo mix if you want, and then record yourself uh, on your microphone. However, if you want better quality, then the method I'm gonna show you here is much better to use. So essentially what you wanna have is both people or however many people you have, uh, have them have audacity. Now, just a quick disclaimer, if you want to record another person or if you want to record a Skype call, uh, then you're gonna have to use the stereo mix method. This is not a video showing you how to record your computer sound. I do have a video on that, and if you wanna check that out, you can by clicking on the link in the description as well as an annotation and a card on the screen right now. That's how you record your computer sounds. But this is the best method to record multiple voices, multiple people, or multiple hosts for your podcast or for any type of commentary or recording. So when both of you have Audacity, you wanna both record at the same time. Now you're gonna be recording your audio here, just your microphone. And as you can see here, I have a recording here, then I have, you see this long, empty waveform here, then I have me talking again, another long, empty waveform. Basically, you're gonna be mixing together your Audacity track and the other people's Audacity tracks while they record and they send you the Audacity track, and then you can mix them together in your own Audacity program. So, what I have here is my track, and uh, my friend, who I did a mock podcast with, here is his, here is his test that I made him do, I made him do like a little test version. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract that. We're gonna go ahead and go to extract here. And I'll show you in just a second how you can create these zip files, but you wanna have the second track open. Here is his file and here is my file. Now, if you want to create your own file, you wanna to explain to your friend or whoever, whoever you're recording with how to create these zip files, what you need to do is obviously, let me go ahead and create a new one real quick. So here we go, we're gonna start recording. Make sure your microphone here is set to your microphone. We're gonna start recording here. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. And then we listen. Hello, testing three. Hello, hello, testing one, two, three. So there we go. Now what you wanna do is go up to file here. You wanna go to save project as, you can click okay on the pop-up here. And on your desktop, what you wanna do is make sure this is an AEP file, and then you wanna save this as, we're just gonna name it uh, Y is fine, or we can name it, yeah, just Y. Doesn't make a difference really. And then this should be on your desktop. Now you also have a data folder. These, both of these files are important. Without the data folder, you're not gonna be able to listen to this track here. And the reason why you don't wanna export this track, you don't wanna go to file, you don't wanna go to export audio, because the audio will be compressed and you wanna have the highest quality possible. So don't, ex don't export your audio and send that as an MP3 or a WAV uh, to the person who's doing the mixing, just send the Audacity file. And this is why you need this data folder. So right click your desktop, click new, and then create a zip folder or a, a uh, uncompressed or compressed zip folder. There should be an option like that. Then just drag your two uh, files, highlight them, your Audacity file, your data file, and then go ahead and drag it into the folder. And then look at that, here they are. Then you can send this file over Skype, over Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever the case may be. After that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, close our test that I just did there. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go to uh, the track that my friend made here on his Audacity recording. We're gonna go and highlight everything. Click the box, the white box here, double click, and then go ahead and go up to edit and click cut. Now, back in our Audacity project here, where we have our recording, go ahead and go up to track, go to add new and click stereo track. And this will add a brand new stereo track. Now go to the beginning of the trick. Now go to the beginning of the clip. I'm pressing this button up here. 
and go ahead and press paste like so. And what you'll notice is that once we've pasted this, it actually uh, aligns the audio somewhat accurately. Now, if one of you started recording earlier or later, then you may have to move this around and you can easily do that with using the, uh, the time shift tool here. And you can just go ahead and move this forward a bit. And as you can see, this lines up with here. Here I'm talking, here he's talking, and we move forward. He stops talking here, I talk again here. And as you can see, we can go down here, and it pretty much automatically aligns everything perfectly. Uh, if you see any errors, you can always uh, move it back, move it forward or so, and very easily that'll fix itself. And you can take a listen. So we take a listen to it now. Podcast today featuring special guest Christopher DeAngelis, who also has a YouTube channel for drumming. Hello, Christopher. Tell us about your channel and what you do on there. Well, what I do on there, honestly, I normally just listen to some songs that I normally like, and all I do is just analyze them. Now, uh, this method is great, but you'll notice that uh, if your microphone tends to be very good and it picks up everything in the area, uh, he had the same problem here as well, however I fixed it in his ready. Or if the person you're talking with doesn't have a uh, headset, then you may be getting certain... Uh, audio from their side or they may, may be getting certain audio from your side and the way you can fix this is right when you stop talking go ahead and highlight everything that you want to silence so you want to silence everything here and then we can go up go ahead and go up to generate and now we can click silence and then go ahead and press ok here and you'll see that will silence everything and similarly we can go over here and right in between here where he's talking we're gonna go up to generate again and go to silence and press OK. Now, obviously, you don't want to do this for your entire podcast. Go through here and have to silence everything. So if you do run into this problem, this is the workaround method. But uh, I would recommend checking your audio levels, doing a test recording before, and making sure that your microphone isn't too loud and making sure everyone's wearing headphones and you're not recording them or they're not recording you. So as you can see now, when we silence this, It'll actually work properly. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this. Guest Christopher DeAngelis, who also has a YouTube channel for drumming. Hello, Christopher. Tell us about your channel and what you do on there. Well, what I do on there, honestly, I normally just listen to some songs that I normally like. And all I do is just analyze them. And I literally play them almost every single day. And uh, you'll see that throughout this entire podcast here, that this little mini mock podcast that we go right here even rap it all depends on the song all right great if you want to check out christopher's channel just go in and search christopher d'angelis chris d'angelis right on youtube chris d'angelis yes and, there's uh, just all it really is is just literally a drum set that's all it is with like 22 subscribers at the moment yeah so uh growing in subscribers but you can definitely check it out uh youtube chris d'angelis uh what's one what's one cover that people could search for right now uh, if they really want to, you can type on Chaos Myth by 1OK Rock. That is my latest run cover that I have over right now. And as you can see, that's basically how you mix these together. Now after that, what you want to do is highlight everything, Control A. Or you can also just uh, uh, click this, double click here and then hold Shift and double click that. So you have everything selected. And then, then you want to go up to Mix and Render underneath Tracks. And you'll see that this will mix it together and render everything so that you have it in one track. And if you wanted to add a global effect to this, uh, you could very well do so. But you'll see that. Well, oh, Christopher, tell us about your channel and what you do on there. Well, what I do on there. Are... There we go. So that's kind of how you do it. That's how you mix together uh, multiple people talking. You just have to make sure you align the tracks correctly. And uh, if you run into the problem with you know people recording other people over their microphone because they don't have headphones or uh, their microphone is too powerful, then you definitely, well, too sensitive is the correct word, uh, then you want to use the generate silence method. But uh, quite frankly, you don't want to do that for all your podcasts and you don't want to do that you know, the entire time. So I would recommend uh, doing a test recording, as I said. So hopefully it's helped you out. Hopefully you understand how to do this now. If you have any questions or comments, leave it on the comment section below. Definitely down there answering any questions you have. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials on the channel. Lots of other software tutorials as well.
well if you're into design, editing, video editing, uh, motion graphics. We have lots of stuff on the channel that I think you'd find very helpful. So I do encourage you to subscribe. I also have a Patreon page. If you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, anything as low as that is very helpful and very much appreciated. And if you want to check out my vlogging channel, my gaming channel, advice channel, or music channel, you can do so as well. Links in the description as well as on the end card. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GS Man. I'm smart and I'll be back soon. We think. Don't go anywhere.